A friend of mine actually sent me the book because this is just not a book that I would have ever purchased for myself. I really didn't have a perspective going in. I just thought initially, man, leave the plantation. This could go either way. So I didn't really have like high, high hopes for the book to begin with. I do not believe that the goal of the book was accomplished because the title of the book is It's Okay to Leave the Plantation. For 168 pages, I was waiting on the system to leave the plantation. Leave is a verb which implies there will be steps to leave the plantation. There was a lot of information about why it's a good idea to do it, why the Democrats suck, and why they are putting people in slavery and they're impoverishing them. For me, I'm a strategist. I'm always going to provide action steps to solve whatever the issue is. It would have been nice for the book to be 169 pages. And on the 169th page, three to five steps, how to leave the plantation. Because if the author is saying Democrats have programmed everybody, in order to get someone off of a program, you have to lead them out of that program and into a system where they can become independent thinkers. Overall, there is a perspective. There was some information. I have the fourth edition that's been published. There were times when the information was repetitive or it had already been in a previous edition and then added to this edition. I didn't like that part of it. If you said it once, we get it. It doesn't need to be repeated again. Literally the exact same information. Overall, eh, it was cool, I guess. This book was written in 2013. That was the year that I claimed my own independence and I became a business owner. 100% solo, Dr. Donna, all by herself. And it was one of the best decisions that I have ever made in my entire life. The part that resonated the most for me is that there are a lot of experts who have a lot of information, but leadership, real leaders, just like the title of my book, Real Leaders Wear Pink, real leaders give you the information, the strategy to execute, the actions that you need to take to change whatever it is that you're going through, to update a system, to improve, to go forward, to empower, to become better. At this point, everybody has a lot of rhetoric. Everybody is talking about you this side and that side, and no one's really listening to the other side. For me, it's all about action. What are we going to do? Find out what the problem is. As we used to say in my corporate job, get to the root cause and then solve it, fix it forever, do some deep dive analysis, get a solution that actually works, get some strategies and some action plans and move forward. All of this talking, can, 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 back and forth. I mean, it's just a bunch of hot air. I say shut up and put up and let's go up. It depends. I would say if you have someone that's just teeter-tottering back and forth and they don't know if they want to be a Republican, if they're to the left, the right, the up, the down, conservative, liberal, in the middle, and any other name and title that they have in this day and age, I don't know who this book is for. Clarence has said that this book is for Democrats who need to become Republicans, people who need to leave the plantation, but I didn't. there are no steps. So that's the problem that I'm having is I would recommend this book and I would recommend to Clarence if you add one more page and just say, here are the steps. Here are the steps. Because if you're proposing take action, leave in the title of the book, leave the plantation, three to five steps on how to leave. If someone says, hey, we're going to regular on vacation. What do you do? You pack, you get plane tickets, you find out if you're going on a bus or train. Even in the Underground Railroad, people had to find out, where are we meeting? What am I taking? Am I telling anybody goodbye? Am I leaving with the clothes on my back? What is the system to leave the plantation? And I think if that's added in the fifth edition, then I'll start recommending this book.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Before I get out of here, I just want to say the best part about 52 is reading the information, getting it, and then making an informed decision and a choice. And that's what 52 is all about. You have choices and you have options. Explore what's possible. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Watch what we do in 52. I'll see you guys next week. Adios.